let's say I have signed in as a finance user. I have the option of creating uh, journals, of uploading invoices, of uploading um, receipts, okay, using the, of uh, doing these things uh, in the application. For this, we will go to, uh, for general ledger, let's say, let's go to general accounting, journals, and here you have these tasks, okay? So we'll change it to US ledger set or US primary ledger. Then we click on create journal spreadsheet. Create journal in spreadsheet. Can you all see this? Create journal in spreadsheet. So click on this. Then you will get a journal entry Excel file that will get downloaded. Click on that file. These journal entry spreadsheets have been created by Oracle. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are already there. And all you have to do is just download it and start using it. Again, this will require ADFDI. So you need to have that ADFDI successfully installed for this to work. All you have to do here is just follow the flow. SP journal one ledger. Which ledger do you want? US primary ledger. What is the accounting date? Uh, you can put today's date also. This date has to be as per the format in the Excel that you have that you will be using category wherever there is a drop down you can double click it then a list will open up let's say i want to put adjustment here Okay, uh, this is for the reversal of stuff. Now here you can put an uh, entered or accounted and things like that. You can, let's leave it blank for now. Scroll down, this is your, the entire chart of accounts combination, right? You can see this here, that means there is a drop down. So you can double click this, or you can get a combination from the application also. So let's pull up a combination if it is there. If you put that entire combination, then these fields will get auto-populated, else you can do it manually as well. This will be USD.
all mandatory fields will have to be populated. Okay. Next, let's do the corresponding one is debit, one is credit. So it has to be a balanced one. Okay, now once this is done, you have to click on this submit. I see, are you following? So here you have the option submit journal import and posting. So it will do the import as well as posting. Then you click submit. So an ID will be, process ID will be generated. It says row inserted successfully. Wait for a few minutes and then you will be able to see it in the application over here. So for that, we will go to manage journals. See, SP Journal 1, 10,000. Currently, it is processing. So, it is doing the posting probably. You can open it. The journal, batch, journal, lines have been created. Anybody got any question? Anyone got any question? Anyone? See, now the batch status is posted. So whenever you have journal importing or otherwise you are testing something, always post it. Once you post it, you will know whether the entire transaction has been successful or not. Okay. Anyone got any question? This is journal upload through the spreadsheet. On your um, task tracker, you will find there is these separate practices are mentioned. I didn't catch that. Could you try again? So you will need to uh, go into the application. So this was, I'm repeating the steps. How do we do it? How did we do the journal? We went to the application homepage, open journals, create journal in spreadsheet. We clicked on this. It downloaded the file. We opened the file, entered the mandatory information, and then we hit submit over here. Once you hit submit, it will come up with the options. Do you just want to, uh, you know, save to the interface, submit journal import, submit journal import, and post? Okay. Then the next step here is. To click on submit. 
Okay. So once you submit this, it will start loading from the interface. It first puts it in interface and then it will import into the application. So this was for journals.